Good morning, everyone. Thank you very much for joining the Hompa Honganji Hawaii Betsin online Sunday service. My name is Reverend Masanari Yamanishi. Let us start this service with the chanting of Bandana Tisara.
Please put your, put your palms together in Gassho. From the existence of this, that becomes. From the happening of this, that happens. From the non-existence of this, that does not become. From the non-existence of this, that does not happen. Namo Amida Buts, Namo Amida Buts, Namo Amida Buts, Namanda Buts, Namanda Buts, Namanda Buts, Namanda Buts, Namanda Buts. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for watching and attending the Honpa Honnaji Hawaii Beijing online Sunday service on this channel today. Today is August 30. September is coming soon. I can't believe that it has already been two thirds of the year. I finished the orientation program of Honpa Honnaji mission of Hawaii a few weeks ago. I was happy to see a lot of people through this program. I'm looking forward to seeing you again soon at the temple. So, Shitaruta Gautama was born in India more than 2,500 years ago as a prince of one kingdom. Although he spent a luxurious life there, he couldn't understand what was true happiness. One day, he tried to travel from the four gates of his castle. When, she, when he was traveling from the four gates of east, west, south, and north, he saw four things, sickness, old age, and death, and a peace-free meditating monk at each of the gates. The prince realized that sickness, old age, and death are suffering in our lives. He also realized Life itself, to be born in this world, is suffering too. He discovered the truth that birth, old age, sickness, and death are four kinds of suffering in our human lives. He decided to renounce his royal life and become a monk, a seeker of the truth at the age of 29. Shitaruta left his castle to seek the cause of suffering and a way to true happiness. In order to find true happiness, Shitaruta did many harsh practices by, his, by himself for six years. However, he found the reality that he was not successful to ex extinguish the suffering over and over through, the, through those practices. Therefore, he gave up harsh practices and decided to meditate it under one pipara tree to find the truth of life. Shitaruta Gautama sat there for 49 days. Finally, in the early morning of December 8, at the age of 35, he attained the highest enlightenment and became the Buddha, the enlightened one. He became Shakamuni Buddha, the pipal tree is called the body tree now. Soon after Shakamani Buddha left the body tree, he
he studied to share the Dharma with others. His enlightenment was the realization of the doctrine of interdependency. We are able to learn from the teaching that everything exists interdependently. This became one of the most important teachings for our lives. We are, we are all living our lives interdependently. For example, a seed will not grow if left on a dry concrete sidewalk. It must be planted in fertile soil, needs rain and sun. The seed grows up and blooms and becomes one beautiful flower. In the sutra, or sacred writing from the teaching of Shakyamuni Buddha, is the flowing. Rain falls, winds blow, plants bloom, leaves mature and are blown away. These phenomena are all interrelated with causes and conditions, are brought about by them and disappear as the causes and conditions change. One is born through the conditions of parentage. His body is nourished by food. His spirit is nature by teaching and experience. As a net is made up by a series of tides, so everything in this world is connected by a series of tides. If anyone thinks that a mesh of a net is an independent, isolated thing, he is mistaken. It is the everlasting and unchanging rule of this world that everything is created by a series of causes and conditions, and everything disappears by the same rule, everything changes, nothing remains the same. According to the Sutra of the Doctrine of Interdependency, the following, from the existence of this that becomes, from the happening of this that happens, from the non-existence of this that does not become, from the non-existence of this that does not happen. I think the interdependency of the temple and us means three treasures, Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha. From the existence of Buddha Dharma, Sangha becomes. From the existence of Sangha, we are able to see Buddha Dharma. From the existence of Buddha Dharma, the temple becomes. From the existence of temple, we are able to see Buddha Dharma. As I said earlier, I finished the orientation program of Hompa Honganji Mission of Hawaii a few weeks ago. I went to several temples of during the program before the COVID-19 pandemic. I was able to see some temple where I have never been. It was interesting that all temples have different shapes and architecture. Although each of the temple has a different shape, all temples have the same common purpose. 
The purpose is to share the teaching of Amida Buddha, Shakamuni Buddha, Shinna Shoni, and other past members. Hoppa Hongaji Mission of Hawaii celebrates its 130th anniversary, and Hoppa Hongaji Hawaii Betsin celebrates its 100th anniversary a couple of years ago. I found some old pictures of the temple, temple anniversary in the office. About 100 years ago, Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha in Hawaii started here. Shakamuni Buddha started to share the Dharma with the Sangha. Buddhists celebrate the day of the Buddha enlightenment as body, tree, body day. Furthermore, the teaching of the Buddha is guiding millions of people throughout the world and also guiding us here and now. We should be grateful for our family and friends and the opportunity to learn the Buddha Dharma here and now. We also remember we should continue to recite the Nembutsu in the future. In our daily lives, we have a lot of chances to thank each other. Everything exists interdependently, Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha. We should remember our gratitude to Amida Buddha and all sentient beings by reciting the Nembutsu, Nabo Abhidabutsu. Finally, let me introduce the Shinran Shonin's words, the following. Amida Buddha is the sun illuminating all and has already broken through the darkness of ignorance. Still, the clouds and the mists of greed and desire, anger and hatred cover as always the sky of pure Shinji. But even when the sun, moon and stars in their constellations are veiled by smoke mist, clouds or fog, beneath the mists and clouds there is brightness, not dark. I realize now that the beneficent light surpasses even the sun and moon. Necessarily then, we will read the dawn of spring pure Shinji. One retired minister also said that when you can see yourself, in the new light. You can see others in the same light. In that light, the view is stunning, overpowering, inexplicable, inconceivable, even strange. Thank you for listening to my Dharma talk. Let's conclude with the Nembutsu, Namo Amida Butsu. So please put your palms together in Gashu. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Namanda 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 Butsu. Thank you. Of love. I am a living, 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 living
Again, thank you very much for joining us in this Sunday service. The next Hongpa Hongnanji Hawaii Beijing online Sunday service will be held on September 6 at 10 a.m. See you at the service. In closing, let us recite the name of Namo Amida Butsu. So please put your palms together in Kasho. Namo Amida Butsu, 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 Namo Amida Butsu. Thank you, mahalo. Hello, Hello everyone. everyone.
Sharon, and Dennis, safe at home in IAIR. I'm glad we're able to connect with all of you through Zoom. I've learned to use this new technology during this lockdown, and I'm thankful for it. It allows me to connect with some of our BWA members at meetings and with others at seminars like the BSC Summer Session and the Futaba Lecture. In fact, I like using Zoom since I'm able to attend meetings and various seminars without having to dress up and drive through traffic to get there. You know, six months ago, we didn't know what Zoom was. Now I'm using it for readings uh, through the University of Hawaii Outreach College. And that's allowed me to do a little bit of performing uh, since we're not doing plays and movies right now. And speaking of movies, this lockdown has allowed Sharon and I to watch a lot more movies, plays, and TV shows than we were able to before. Mm -hmm. Many, many thanks to the headquarters and the Hawaii Bitswing Ministers for the online YouTube services and Dharma messages, which allow us to continuously listen to the Dharma from many different ministers throughout the state. We miss seeing everyone in person, and we look forward to the time when we can talk story downstairs in the social hall. Stay safe. Take care. See, See you soon. soon. Aloha. Aloha.